want to pray for a lady come from Limpopo. Limpopo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Say amen. amen. The lady that I want to pray for, Limbobo, there's a man called Thomas. Huh? It's me. Let's sit down. I want to pray for a lady coming from a place called Mpumalanga. I want to pray for someone who's coming, I don't know if it's the US, I don't know. US. Is it you? You and your husband. It's fine. I want to pray for people that are coming from Hong Kong. Hong Kong. I want to pray for a, I'm seeing a lady from Botswana. I'm seeing a lady from Botswana. I'm also seeing another one from Botswana. I'm also seeing, uh, <clears throat> I'm seeing a lady from from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. I'm seeing a lady from from Namibia. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Can I speak with you? All of you like this? Huh? Can we separate? You can you come this side. You can you go the other side. Can you? Which one? Which one should I start with? Anyone? <laughs> I saw a husband and a wife from Botswana. Husband and wife, Rea Chavi, I don't know. Rea Chavi. Something like that. Huh? Go and go there. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I, I saw something like that. Let him stand up. I'm still going to speak with him. I still want to speak with you. So already I'm feeling the presence of God here. And I believe whatever that you came here for is done, it's settled. Are you hearing me? <laughs> the ladies, let me start with you. Are you coming from Botswana? Huh? I want to pray for you. One of you, I'm hearing something like Kudu. Kudu I don't know. It's me. Huh? It's me. We need to pray for you. Amen. I'm seeing in your family, this, it's like you people, there's a cage, the way I'm seeing it. And this cage, it's like it's coming from generations. This is a cage of marriage. Amen. That you people, your cage, it's, it's the same thing as you, Ceci. It's the same thing. It's like you people are having the same problem. Yes. Amen. Huh? Amen. So do you know each other? Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes. yes. Because when I look at you, I'm just seeing relationships that they don't work. Yes. yes. More especially to you. Yes. Huh? Amen. I'm seeing people that are disappointing you. Yes. It's like when they come to you, they just want to sleep with you. Yes. From there, after they sleep with you, they run away. Yes. True man of God. My name is Lone Kudu. I'm, I come from Botswana. 
the problem that brought me here was the problem of loneliness. I was just seeking marriage to, to know the direction of my marriage because I've been lonely ever since like way back in 2012. So the, 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 the man of God, Apostle Makananisa, when he, he first saw me, he just said that um, he needs to pray for me for marriage. And I had never told him that. And then when I came here also, the man of God, Prophet Andrews, also said he, we, we, he should pray. We, I've been crying about marriage, which is true. I've been crying about marriage. He also said that he sees um, um, an idea of a business in me, uh, which is true. I'm, I'm trying to run um, a little bit, little businesses, and nothing is coming together. He also touched the problem of my kids. He said my kids needs to be, to, to be to also be prayed for through me. So, uh, and he did pray for me for my kids through me. So I believe that he, the the prayer that he he prayed for my kids through me has touched my my kids, and I'll see a difference. In Jesus' name, amen. My name is Buite Kuhake Wobone. I'm from Botswana. And the problem that brought me here is the delay in marriage. And today when I came here, the man of God talked about marriage. And I believe that since the man of God has touched the problem that brought me here, it is done in Jesus' name. I believe that my marriage, I'll, I'll get married very soon. It's our second time coming here for the, we seek the face of God. That's very true. I was waiting for that. Amen. So I'm going to pray for you because you want to look at you, you people, and because I'm seeing also, it's like there's a mind of business on both of you. Yes. Amen. Huh? Amen. That's why I said you people is like you've got the same problems. Yes. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. So I'll pray for you. I'm hearing a lady from Deben. I'm going to pray for you, and I believe today, listen, th there's a turnaround of your life today. Thank you, Jesus. Because you people, you've been suffering it enough now. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Are you hearing me? Yes. Amen. Because Amen. more especially this one, she's Amen. been crying also Amen. about things of God, this one. Yes. Amen. Huh? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So I want to pray for you, because it's like both of you have got the same Christ. Amen. So let's believe it's not too late. Amen. Amen. It's not too late. Let's cancel all these disappointments that, have, that have been coming to your life. Ah, stand up. Stand up, Mama. Yes. Stand up. Are you hearing me? I'm hearing Witi. No, no, no. Witiko. Yes. Huh? Yes, that's my name. Huh? That's my name. Listen, I'll pray for you, and God is going to help you today also. Yes. Are you hearing Jesus. me? Jesus. So Amen. you people, you must never cry again yes. because Thank I'm just seeing Jesus. the issue of marriage as a major Thank problem. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So I'll pray for you and God will heal it. Amen. God Amen. will heal your heart. Amen. Let, me Amen. Put, let me put it that way. God will heal your heart. And we, I'm lonely. I've been like seeing different men, but to no avail. They'll just come and leave. But now because I'm here, the man of God talked about a man. I believe that I will be married in Jesus' name. Mama, where are your children? They are back in Botswana. Huh? Back in Botswana. In Botswana? Yes. We need to pray for them. Amen. Because I'm just seeing the enemies also attacking your children. Are you hearing me? Amen. So, but today is the deliverance of the whole family. Amen. Thank are you hearing Jesus. what I'm trying to say? Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Come out. You demon. Come out. Come out. Bring it here. Say, see, touch here. Touch here. Touch your stomach. In Jesus' mighty name. I release you today. Come out. And you people, which church are you going to? Huh? Which church do you go to? Uh -huh. Me, I go to Rema Life Ministries. Because I'm just, you, which church are you going? It's called Wedded Track Ministries. 
And what are you doing in the church? I'm a treasurer. Huh? I'm a church treasurer. Yes. <sighs> so you hold money of the church? Yes. You don't eat it? No. Uh, so the pastor decided to give you uh, money of the church? No, I don't give. I only deposit to the bank account. You only take it to the bank account? Yes. You demon. Don't. Don't, you demon. I will say, when you want to get married, seek first the face of God, and everything will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. I've, I've been very lonely, even though I still have my kids, but they do not fulfill that other part, yes. So I've been lonely, being alone, yes. I'm, I feel very relieved and I believe that my, my, my time has come and, and things will turn around for me and this is the time for my marriage. It has come, yes, amen. Thomas <laughs> They say I'm healed as from today. Uh, I'm, ha I'm having HIV and I'm also having stomach problems. Where's your husband, Mama? Huh? Where is he? Can, can you come, sir? Is it your husband? Yes. Huh? Yes. <laughs> I saw... I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a sickness, huh? Yes. I'm seeing something like HIV on you. Yes. Huh? Yes. So when you went to the doctor, I'm seeing the results now. I'm seeing HIV. Yes. Huh? Yes. So I want to pray for you because I'm hearing something like Mavis. Mavis. Yes, huh? it's me. Mavis. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Listen, I want to pray for you. Because the way I'm seeing, the enemy wants to kill you already. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. And you people here on the other side, you've got plans. I'm hearing some plans. I'm yes. hearing that you want to buy something like a car. Huh? Yes. You, I'm seeing, can I tell you what I'm seeing? I'm seeing something like uh, Toyota. Huh? Yes. Toyota um, Legend 45. Yes. Huh? Yes. Listen, I want to pray for you. I want God to give you this car. I think it is going to shame your enemies. Are Amen. you hearing me? Amen. Because already people are criticizing your marriage. They are talking against your marriage. Yes. Huh? Yes. And they think you will die. I want to pray for you today. And they did pray for you already. Yes. Me, I'm just doing a bonus. You are healed. Yes. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. I said you are what? I'm healed. You are healed. Yes. And this car will come. Are you hearing me, sir? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. It's like you're worried. <laughs> huh? Listen, when you come before God, they will always say, HIV is like flu. So Amen. you come here, you believe. You people, you are free. Go and sit down. You, 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 you must just believe. It's done. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, I'll sir. pray for you. There will be peace in your marriage. Because right yes. now, the way I'm seeing it, you can't even enjoy your marriage. Yes. Because yes. of this sickness. Yes. Huh? Yes. yes. So I want to pray for you and God will do it. Yes. Amen. Yes, it did affect me spiritually, mentally. Yes, because I, ca I cannot do anything right now. Yeah. I can't do Amen. Mama, I had somebody like, I don't know, uh, I had you, Mama, from Zimbabwe. We need to pray because I saw something that is moving in you. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's true. Huh? Yes, it's And now true. this thing is bothering you too much. Yes. I had somebody like Begez, I don't know, Be I don't know. Do you know somebody like Begezel? I don't know. It's my huh? daughter. Begezela. Yes. We need to pray for her because she's also having problems. Yes, she's coming. Are you coming. hearing me? Tomorrow. She's coming tomorrow. Yes. I believe she'll also get prayer because she's also suffering. Yes. And I heard there's also a problem in your breast. 
Yes, I've huh? got a lamp here. You've got a lamp? Yes. Listen, we'll pray for you because this thing now is like... My name is Janet huh? Mplanga. I come from Zimbabwe. The man of God prophesied for me that I've got a moving object inside my stomach and uh, I've got lamps at my breast and uh, he also prophesied for my daughter because uh, that she has to come and uh, even prayed for. I'm just hearing something in the stomach. Yes, huh? stop, yes, there's an object moving inside my stomach. There's an object moving in your stomach. Yes. Listen, I'll pray for you. You'll be healed today. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Did you hear what I said? Yes. I'll pray for you. You'll be healed. Thank you, Jesus. It affected me a lot because every day I would be feeling pain all over my body. I would be feeling pain because of this movement object, this movement object, I would be feeling pain even my back, my shoulders, my breast, everywhere. It was a problem. I feel a bit better today. If you are out there, come to this place and they receive your own miracle yes. in Jesus yes. name and you we need to pray for both of you I had high blood high blood huh huh exactly and we yes. need to I don't know are you having a church mm, on the ministry yeah, for huh? now. Yeah. on the yes. ministry for now you are saying what on the ministry for now but I'm not my church yet you are in somebody, somebody else. Somebody else in history. Mm -hmm. And is this your first wife, sir? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. We need to pray. Why are your children? Uh, at home. Huh? At home. home. Uh, we need to pray for your children. Exactly. Huh? It's yes. a mess. Because your children, it's a mess. You, what you are saying is a good word. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Yes. I heard something like uh, Florida. Florida. Yeah, Florida. Yeah, exactly. Huh? That's where yes. I come from. You're from Florida? Yes. yes. I heard something like Tony. Tony. My name. Huh? Yes, My name. His name. My name is Tony Senjin. I'm from Florida. Originally, I'm from Haiti, but you know, I'm based in Florida. And this is my beautiful wife. Uh, from the men of God, uh, Makananisa, uh, all, all, uh, he told me that it's, it's true. I confirm it to be true. It is my heart desire, you know, for God, you know, to use me prophetically. So, so he confirmed that today. So it, it is true. Oh, yeah, 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 I was praying, you know, for, for, for that, so that, you know, God can use me like a prophet, yeah. Because the minute I looked at you, I saw suffering. Exactly. That you people, you've got, it's like your finances went down. Exactly. You're suffering too much. Yes. Huh? Yeah. So I want to tell you, from today after I pray for you, this suffering is canceled. Amen. And this high blood today is gone. Amen. Because now it's on both of you. Yes. Huh? Yes. So I'm going to pray for you, and God is going to help you today. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. I receive it. So you, we need to pray for you for your dreams also. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because I'm just seeing that there's a spirit sometimes that is trying to visit you when you're sleeping. So I'll pray for you. I believe you people, you'll get out of this cage today. Amen. Amen. I don't, receive the name don't of cry, Jesus. Sir, don't cry. Amen. Amen. Don't cry. Don't cry. I, there's a solution today of your problem because Amen. you've been crying is enough. Huh? Yes. And in your heart, you've been crying for the things of God, to crying for God to use you. Exactly. Amen. Huh? Yes. yes. So don't worry. I believe God is going to restore your family today. I and your children, they're a problem. Yes. They're into smoking. They're a serious problem, yes. your children. What they're doing, it's something else. But I'll pray for you, and there'll be a restoration. Yeah, I confirm the prophecy is true. What is it about me? Sometimes I'll be having dreams, like bad dreams. It is true, I do. How did it affect me? Like, I'll have troubles in my family, at work, my children. 
Oh, I feel good. And I feel much better. That um, this ministry is a good ministry. God is using the men of God. So I encourage everyone to come to this ministry if they need deliverance. I would encourage everyone, you know, listening to this. Uh, to this. Uh, so if they feel like, you know, uh, God, you know, call them, you know, it is the best place, you know, for them to come, you know, so to get confirmed. Amen. We need to pray for your family, sir. Huh? Yes. We need to pray for your family. Yes. Because the way I'm seeing, Satan is dealing with your family. Yes. Huh? Yes. Because now, <laughs> I'm coming to you. Do you have a church? Huh? I'm serving under uh, a certain man of God. I don't have my own church. But there are problems. Amen. No? Amen. Because you, you've been praying on the issues of you want God to use you on the side of prophecy. Amen. Huh? Exactly, sir. But it's very tough. Yes, sir. Yes. <clears throat> so now I want to pray for you and your wife. Amen. You people, you need to stand together. Amen. Are oh, you hearing me? Amen. Because I'm just hearing some funny, 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 funny fights that sometimes they okay in the house. It's true, sir. Are oh, you hearing me? Amen. I'm hearing funny arguments Amen. in the house. Mm. So I want to pray for you so that you people can be together. I just heard something like Kiachavi. I don't know. Kiachavi. Yeah, huh? mm. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. So I want to bless you yes, sir. because one of the things that has brought you is the issues of impartation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You wanted to be imparted so that you can do what you are seeing here. Yes, sir. Exactly, huh? exactly sir. <laughs> I was praying. There's nothing for my <laughs> life. <laughs> I hear him. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, but I hear <coughs> another pastor from Botswana. Let's see. There's nothing for my life. Yes, sir. You must pray. You must kneel down and pray. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So I want to bless you and you and your wife. Mm -hmm. Because you didn't come here for many things. No. Yes, you, Just came for one thing. Yeah, for one thing. Mm -hmm. You came here for what you are right. Yes. One thing. Yes. Impartation. Yes. yes, sir. So but I believe my father has already imparted you. My name is Nete Kiatabi and this is this is my wife Refile Kiatabi. We are coming from Botswana. Uh, the man of God told us that uh, we are here for impartation and that is exactly what we came here for. And he also told told us that we want God to use us like he's using the prophets around in Charis. And I confirm that to be true because uh, I've, I've, I've seen uh, visions uh, concerning this ministry and the man of God, Prophet Apostle Makanisa, I pray for us. Amen. Uh, I feel a bit loose and I believe God has done it for me. Amen. I confirm it to be true because as he has already said, we are, we are eager to serve God. And we came here for impartation because my husband is always seeing visions, which has been confirmed by Apostle J.B. Makanandisa. So I thank God for everything because what we came here for, God has done it for us in Jesus' mighty name. I'm feeling over the moon happy because, <laughs> because we, we got our heart desire. Our viewers out there, I just want to tell you that... Uh, God is real in, in Charis and you have to make sure that if you have any situation that you call situation, if you come here, it will be done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Uh, what I can say to the viewers out there is that they should uh, follow God, seek God first, and all things shall be done for them. Amen. My name is Cecilia. I have come from Hong Kong. This is my husband. This is my son. My healing my healing that uh, I was suffering from the dust allergy so I'm healed today from that yeah so I'm healed from that so I praise God for it I saw your wife we need to pray for your wife yes. because she's very sick yes huh yes there's nothing she doesn't have huh yeah it's like even when there's dust this she'll become sick yeah huh? a lot of sneezing a lot of sneezing, uh, dry, dry high, blood, high blood pressure. Yes. There are many, many, many things. Yeah, nose huh? blocking, chest Every, congestion. She has got yeah. everything. Yeah. 
So, but I'll pray for her. Yes. But she's not the only problem. Yes. I had this one. Huh? Yes. Are you smoking heroin? Yes. Huh? Yes. You're an addict. Yes. And now, how will you get a job with this problem? Cannot. Because you are searching for a job, how will you get a job with this? Because I'm seeing you smoking, smoking. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And now you are very much addicted. Yes. Huh? Listen, I want to pray for you. I want God to restore your house. Yes. Are you yes. hearing me? Yeah. Because yeah. I was taken to a place, Hong Kong. Yes. When I reached there, I'm seeing 219. Yes. I'm seeing my, a temp, Temple Street. Yes, my huh? address. My address. It's your address. Yes. I'm in front of your house. Okay. Uh, I really don't know. Suddenly it starts burning in my nose and then it starts suddenly sneezing for a long time. Yeah. Yes. Yes, that was my dream that to come and see him and get the healing from him. Especially for my son. I was so... I thank God for my son too. So I praise God for it. Yes. And I'm hearing that I must tell, I don't know, something like John. Huh? It's my name. I'm hearing that I must tell John. Yes. And after I heard that, let's tell John that he must not worry about his house. Yes. I'm hearing that tell John he must not worry about Nathan. Yes. And after that, I'm hearing that <clears throat> don't worry about something like Cecilia. I don't know. Cecilia, I don't know. Cecilia, my wife. Huh? My wife. So I'm going to pray for you. Don't worry about your wife. Yes. And you, my boy, stop these things of smoking. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Because now, you're, are you not searching for a job? Yes, huh? I, am. I am. So if you stop this, God will give you a job. Okay. Because it's a problem now. Yes. A serious problem. Yeah. Are you aware that your father is crying about what you're doing? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Then why are you not stopping it? I'm addicted. I can't. Huh? I'm just not. Do you able know to now quit. you're sick now? Huh? Yeah. yeah. You know this thing is making you to be sick. Yeah. So I'll pray for you, and I believe, I believe God will heal you also. Amen. Amen. Because to to him to spend a day without smoking this, it's yes. a miracle. Yes. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Yeah. So I'll pray for your family, sir. Yes, and God will, will restore your house. Yes, we need to. And this mama, she's healed today. Amen. Amen. Because she, she has got a lot of things. Yes. It's like Amen. if she walks out there and there's, there's wind, funny, funny wind, she'll come back here sick. Yeah. My name is John Bosco. I'm coming from Hong Kong. Next to me is my wife, Cecilia. And next to her, my son, Nathan. Yeah, today the man of God who prophesy it is accurate and many many of the things he told what is happening in my house it is true yeah as the head of the house when i see my son is gone astray when the age of 15 or 16 from that day till today we are having a pain crying to god and trusting god one day god will bring him back but great miracle is that Today our son is with us. That is a great thing. Yes, we know it was a challenging for us. How how we will come? But the day when we want to come here, something happened. So we was just worrying and praying God. And each and every moment till today, till now, we was just saying, Lord, thank you that you given uh, him to stay with us. Amen. So that is a great miracle and I believe God started working in his life. Yeah, it, it is a process so it will take time. I know and I trust God. In his time he will help me and I'm, I give glory to God. Amen. Uh, I'm feeling quite free and uh, quite better and I trust uh, the man of God. Yes, I just now his prophecy. And he gave my address, accuracy in Hong Kong. That is the is a miracle. <coughs> Praise God for that. Uh, 
the prophecy that I was told that was that I would be healed, uh, that I'm s that I have some addiction that I'm going through, and uh, so since now that I got prayed for, I, he said that I'm free, and so uh, so yeah, I believe that I am free. In Jesus' name. The way your father is, is praying, I believe, I wish you can join him. Are oh, you hearing me? Yeah. I said what? You wish that my, the way my father prays, I could join him. So why are you not doing that? Hmm? What? You want to die when you're young? Sorry? You want to die young? No, no. But you're going to die. So what you must do, you must join your father and your mother. When they pray, you join them. Because right now, this man is, is, is affected. When I'm touching him, I'm hearing he is affected already. About what is happening in his house. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Well, um, because I was into heroin, so uh, my whole body, I would, I would just, if I wouldn't get the heroin, then I would just go through withdrawals and cravings. And so like, it would just, I would just not feel well. And it's nothing, it's not like someone going through fever or cold, it's worse than that. But, um, but then, you know, I've been taking some different medicines so that I can, um, so I don't go through that. But now I feel that, Okay, you know, now that I've been prayed for, I, I don't have to. So I'm going to try and see what happens. Yes, I was searching for a job for quite a few years now. And uh, yes, because of my addiction, I couldn't get a job. Because if, if I try to go work, I wouldn't be able to work because I would just feel too weak to work. And I would just want the drugs. So I would just, you know, try to go and get the drug. And uh, that's why I couldn't work at all uh, it does feel good um, you know I believe that uh, I will be healed so I'm just gonna wait and see what happens so yeah well it's actually not the coolest thing that's just a thing that people say but it's definitely not the coolest thing at first you might feel it's cool but you know eventually <laughs> you get addicted to it and that's all you want to do and uh, and if you keep going on for years and years, you'll just want to do it by yourself, not to seem cool anymore, or that's nothing like that. But, uh, but you know, nothing is too hard for God. Uh, he can, if you're, if you're willing to, then it is going to work out. Everything is going to work out fine. Yeah, so I'm really happy for my son and that he delivered. And God has healed our family, so I thank God for it. Well, uh, I'm thinking that whenever the children go for their addictions, the parents should pray and find the solution for the children to bring it towards the gods and to get the deliverance. So because with God, nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. God can do it. So I believe in it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah first of all, I trust God. And uh, one thing, uh, devil is... Uh, you allow him to come here, that is the main thing. He is a loser now, I know that. Because he did a lot of trick over him. And he tried his best to put us down. But our God, Jesus Christ, is a greater than him. My name is Rachel Mawelela. I'm originally from Pumalanga, but based in Jobek, due to work. The prophecy that was prophesied to my life is very much true. In my family, we are siblings of three. None of us are married, and it's always a cry in my heart to God to say, God, please help us, bless us with the God-fearing partners and marriage. So I confirm the prophecy to be true. We need to pray for your family because in your family, marriage is a story. Very true. Huh? Amen. You know, family to marry, it's a, it's a story. I can call it a story. Amen. Huh? Amen. So I want to pray for you. I want God to lift you up. I want God to make you an example in the whole of your family. Amen. Because I you people, see. you are struggling too much. Amen. There's a demon that is attacking the whole family. Very because true. I saw a lady called Shelly. 
Yes, that's huh? my sister. It's your sister. Yes. But this lady, she's also struggling. Very true. Huh? Yes. No marriage, nothing. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. So I want to pray for you because I'm just hearing that tell Rachel that she must not worry. Amen. Rachel, this is me. So I want to pray for you because I just saw this is the problem of the whole family. Very true. You heard what I said? Yes. And where are you working? At Baragwanad Hospital. It's like when I'm praying for you, it's like I'm seeing it's the same thing as that lady, that one, the one of Botswana. It's like it's almost the same thing. You people will face a lot of disappointments. Very true. And many people, uh, it's the same thing. You heard what I said when I told that lady? Yes. It's like when people come to you, they come to do something. Yes. After they sleep with you and they leave you like that. It's true. Are you hearing me? Yes. There's a spirit. This spirit is, is like there's a certain, it's like something like a spiritual husband Amen. that is trying to sleep with the whole family. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Yes, man. Because you people, marriage to you is something else. Amen. But I'll pray for you. You will be the first one to marry. Thank you, Jesus. And Shelly will follow. Thank you, Jesus. It has affected me very much because I've been in, I can say, in wrong relationships. And my brother also has been in wrong relationship. Two marriages have failed on my brother's side. And my sister also, two marriages has failed. So it has affected me and I've been praying to God, asking for direction and deliverance in this part of our lives. The man of God also spoke uh, what Prophet uh, Andres has spoken. He also mentioned that uh, marriage is a very big problem in my family. And he also mentioned that God is blessing me with the marriage. I'll be the first one in my family. And I, I, I received the prophecy and I believe in God that it is coming to pass. Demon. What are you doing here? Huh? Huh? You are saying what? Huh? Why should they marry? Why should she marry? Why? And then who are you? Huh? They are all in wrong relationships. They are all in wrong relationships. So you are the one who's giving them these wrong people. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So you want them to, you know, to not yeah, to marry. They must stay like this. They must stay like this. Yeah. So even this one, we gave her the wrong person. Yeah. <sighs> Always heartbroken, crying, praying, God, please bless me with your God-fearing husband. For what? <sighs> praying, praying, God, help me. I don't want to sin. Help me, bless me with marriage, bless my siblings, bless me. Ah, all of them, three of them, they are not married. The firstborn is not married. In and out of wrong relationships. Yeah, their mother is always praying, asking God, God, I pray for my children to get married. Yeah, even their father is gone, never seen even one marriage. He today, today, listen, today you must leave this family. Ah. Come on. Come on. Uh. You demon. Come on. Uh. Jesus, my tenant. Uh,
just free. After the man of God prayed for me, I don't know what was happening. I felt very hot. I, I found myself waking up from the floor. I don't know what happened. And also with Prophet uh, Andres, also when he prayed for me, I felt the same thing. I felt very hot in my, in my back especially. So I, I believe what the demon that was holding me and my family, it has come to an end. Amen. Word of encouragement to all the viewers out there is um, the God of this house is the true God. And I, I pray that we must all pray to God and ask for direction. Whenever we feel confused and lost, we must seek God for direction. Amen. My name is Nogukan Andwandwe. I'm coming from Durban. And uh, the prophets uh, prophesied to me about um, my job that I'm doing. And um, he said the contract is coming to an end. And then he also prophesied about marriage. And then he also prophesied about my cousin. Yes, oh, everything was true. Says we need to pray for, I saw a contract. Huh? Yes, huh? It's, true. it's true. I saw a contract that is ending. Yes, huh? yes, it's true. And now it's like, to, it's like you are praying so that God must give you a permanent job. Yes, it's true. Huh? It's true. And even you, you, you people that came here today, even you, you've got the same problem of marriage. Yes. <sighs> Can I pray for you? Yes. Can I not speak many things and pray for you? Because I saw a problem of a job that this country, I think very soon, Yes. Huh? Yes. This contract is ending. Yes. And you are afraid now. Yes. I want to pray for you. Let's believe God that God will do something. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. And I had something like Pearl. I don't know. That's my name. Huh? That's my middle name. It's your middle name? Yes. I'm seeing a person called Gugu. She's my cousin from huh? my, she's my cousin from my mother's side. We need to pray for her also. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because she's also struggling too much. She is. Huh? It's true. It's true. Huh? It's true. She is. So by through you, after I pray for you, I believe even their life will also change. Amen. Thank oh, you, Jesus. Me? Amen. And don't worry about this contract that is ending. Amen. God is going to do something. There's Amen. something that is coming. Well, I was, I was surprised, uh, but also it's things that I pray for. So I knew if God heard it, then oh, that, it was very special. I was amazed and he told me things that I didn't even write in the form. So it was things that he had no way of knowing. So I know for sure that it's God. Okay, I can tell people that um, God still uses prophets today. It's not only in the olden days. And um, come and experience it. You'll be shocked. It's, it's real and it's, yeah, it's there. Sir, we need to pray for you. I saw blood. Huh? Yes. I saw when you go to the ba bathroom, I'm seeing blood coming yes, out. Yes, yes, pearls. Huh? Pearls. Huh? Pearls. You've got pearls? Yes. Pearls. Pearls. The way you're saying it is like you say pearls. <laughs> my got, my uh, brother also has the same problem. Don't worry, I'm coming. I want to pray for you because I just saw you in a place called... You are, you're from Malawi? Yes. But I'm seeing a place called Lilongwe. Yes, yeah. Huh? Yes, yes. And from there, I'm just... And which church are you going to, sir? Assemblies of God. Assembly. When did you become a Christian? 1996, should be. Right. <sighs> I want to pray for you. And I want to pray for your healing. Yes. And I don't, it's like you've got so many things that you want to do, even business. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's failing. Huh? It's failing. It's failing. Yes. My name is Humphrey Nguida. I, I come from Malawi, Nilongwe. Yes. I want to confirm the professor that, I, that the man of God told me that he sees blood. Yes, indeed. I've been... I'm suffer, uh, I've, I've been suffering from pyros. That's the, the, we never go to, to, to the toilet, the blood comes out. And the man of God says, again, that uh, 
he's seeing, he's seeing that uh, I'm having financial difficulties. And also, he said that uh, I, I have so many big plans, so, so, so many plans in me, I think business, but uh, there's nothing to show. Huh? So I confirm all, all those things to, to, to be true. Yes, of course, I could, mainly on pearls, because they were affecting me very much, because it's a sickness, you feel pain, not comfortable in 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 your body and i was losing blood that led to weaknesses but but now that i'm healed i thank god and uh on the side of business i could pump in money but not retain so it was just like a uh, wasting of resources so i want to pray for you so that god can also lift you up because i just saw a problem of money Financial problems on you. Yes. Huh? Yes. Because you've got so many minds of business. Yes. But there's nothing. You're failing. Yes. Listen, you'll be healed today. Yes. And also your businesses will work. Amen. But now that I've been prayed for, I know that all things are gone and I'll be successful in whatever I'm doing. Thank you. What I can say is that uh, they should believe in God and His prophets. And uh, whatever the man of God has to do, do it. Amen. Hello. Go and tell your husband that a child is coming. Amen. Should I end there? No. <laughs> you want me to continue? Come, come close. You heard what I said? Huh? Yes, I did. I said what? A child is coming. Are you not searching for a child? Yes, I am. Huh? Yes, I am. So a child is coming. Amen. Okay, my name is Feni from Namibia. Um, yes, um, the prophecy that I received today, I can confirm that it's true. We've been married for a while now and we are um, seeking for a child and it was confirmed that a child will be coming soon. Because even if you go to the doctor, they will tell you many stories. Mm. So, but more so, I wish your husband was also here so that he can get prayer. He's around here, I don't know what happened to him. He just stood up and left here. Oh, he's got a demon. Where is he? I don't know. He's somewhere here. Huh? He just stood up a while back before we started. But let me pray for you because he didn't pay. <laughs> <laughs> let me pray for you. But I was just hearing so many things about you. Mm -hmm. Even something like Philip, I don't know. It's him. He Philip. was here last month on one-on-one. -on -one. He was here? Yes. <laughs> and then... And it's quite, t <laughs> it was very hard. Yes, it was very, very hard. But I'm hopeful and I believe that a child is coming. Um, it was a lot of push and pull, a lot of fighting, a lot of one person is believing and the other one not believing. Yes, but um, children, I believe they are from God. And we have to believe, we have to believe that it will come in God's time. Amen. Okay, maybe we'll come back, sir. Do you know Ndivu? Ndivu? Huh? Huh? Ndivu, it's my mom's sister. We need to pray for your family. Yeah, things are not moving because well. Because, according to me, you people, you are divided. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot huh? of stories. A lot of stories on the family. You people, you are so much divided. True. And now, to you, they've attacked you. Not to, it's like they don't want you to marry also. Very huh? true. Because for you to find a relationship and settle down, it's a problem. Yeah, it's true. Huh? True. But we, we need, uh, today I want to pray for your child so that you can propose. Are you Praise me? the Lord. Praise the Lord. Huh? Praise the Lord. Say amen. Amen. Because when I looked at you, I just heard that the family is divided. Very true. Huh? Very true. And I heard something like Rambuani. Huh? I don't know. Yeah, Rambuan needs another guy huh? next to me. Hey, you people, it's like you've got the same problem. Mm. Because Papa was saying something about him not so long. It's like even you, we need to pray for your family. Yes. Huh? Yes. And where, where is your... 
on you, I'm seeing the issues of a job also. Yes. Huh? Yes. That but I'm was seeing, this. besides the issues of a job, I'm seeing studies. Yeah, I was telling Papa now that uh, uh, I'm doing the B-Tech of civil engineering, but now they cut me at school that uh, uh, I'm not making it. <laughs> I said I'm seeing marriage problems. True. I'm seeing family problems. True. I'm seeing, I don't know if you want a new job, I don't know. Can you come again? Yes. yes. I'm talking to this one. Okay. Yes. I'm talking to both of you. On him, I'm seeing he's like he wants a new job. Yes. This one. That's true. Huh? Yes. yes. And from there, I'm seeing you on the side of Boxbeck. Yes. Huh? Yes, that's true. That's where I stay. And now, the whole family now. Your family is divided. Yes. This family is also divided. That's true. So I want to pray for both of you. Are you hearing me? Yes. For restoration. Because you on your side, you are searching for a job. It's like, I don't know. But sometimes there's a confusion that comes to you. It's like sometimes the confusion comes in a way of crying for promotion, something like that. Huh? Yes. So I want to pray for you. I believe the Holy Spirit will make a way out of this. Because sometimes it's like, maybe if I get another job, I need promotion. Huh? Yes. So I want to pray for you. And God is going to help you today. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. And marriage. I want to go I want God to shame your enemies. Very true. Because if I tell you people that are doing this, you won't sleep. Are you hearing me? Yes, men of God. Huh? Yes. Can I pray for you? Yeah, you can even say Because you on. there are so many things, even business. Huh? Yeah, I've been crying because I'm trying to open the company. You but fail. It's like everything that you want to do, you end up not having the conclusion of it. Yes. And huh? every day when I'm dreaming, I dream exactly what you are saying. Yes. Every I'm day. seeing that every time when you want to do something, mm. it's like you end up not having... It's like you can't finish what you're doing. Exactly. This is what I dream. I dream like doing something, but I will end up without finishing what I was I have to do. Today I'm going to pray for you. You'll finish everything. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And you must marry, eh? Because you... <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, I've got a lady that what? What? I ever brought here. But I cannot say I've married because I didn't finish the money. No, for you're, you're not married. You're not. I'm not seeing you married. That's true. And God wants to bless you because of your mind. Praise the Lord. Because you think too much of business. So I want to pray for you so that these things they must happen fast. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. God. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. You're free, you're free, you're free. Lift up your hands. Because you people have got the same thing. Huh? And God is going to bless you today. Are you hearing me? Yeah. You're staying in Bogdwick, huh? Yes, that's where I'm staying. You are free, sir. You are free. My sister, I saw Philip. I don't know where is Philip. But let me just pray for you so that God can give you a child. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. Because you are crying for that. And now the family is starting to talk now. So I will pray for you. 
then there's a spirit also that is trying to sleep with you. And this spirit, when it comes there, it makes you to, it's like when you wake up, you can't remember anything. Mm. Huh? Are you hearing what I'm trying yes, to say? Yes, yes, I can These people, they're also trying to feed you when you're mm. sleeping. It's like that mama, that when she's sleeping, people are trying to feed her. You. Mm. Are you hearing me? When you sleep, people, they try to feed you. Yes. So, but you're free. Thank you. You're free. Even your daughter, she's free. Thank you, Jesus. Can I pray for you? Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of God. Can I pray for you? Yes, please. Sir, where's your church? It's in Raborone. Huh? It's in Raborone. Bring it here. We need to pray for your church. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because Satan is fighting you now. Too much. Yes, sir. Come out! We need to pray for you because I just saw that it's like what you need now. You need God to lift you up from this level that you are. Yes, sir. To defeat what is coming. Are you hearing me? I hear you. Because when you're coming here, you're coming also for the issues of impartation. Hmm? Yes, sir. And now we need to pray for your marriage. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because also Satan is fighting you on that area. Yes, sir. I wish your wife was also here. Do you hear what I said? I hear you. Because I'm seeing you doing everything. But to me, when I look at, you know, where you're supposed to be, it's like you are still far from that. Yes. And there's a demon that is fighting the whole family now. So I want to pray for you. Because you came here for God to impart you and directions. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? I do. So I'll pray for you, and I believe God will stand with you in your ministry. And your ministry will also grow. Amen. Are you hearing me? I do. But you must be careful of high blood. Do you hear what I said? I do. us to pray for your health. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Because I'm seeing your health going down. Thank you. Hmm? Yes. It's like your sickness in because I'm seeing you going to many doctors. Okay. But yes. nothing the more they prescribe for you the worse you become. Yes. Because what I'm seeing is you even taking a lot of medication. Yes. But there's no improvement. So I want us, I want to pray for you so that God will heal you for you to live long. Okay, thank you. Yeah? Where are your children? Um, one is in Belgium, one is in the UK. I also want us to pray for your children okay. because there is a spirit that is monitoring your children. Okay. That pulls them back or pulls them down every time they reach a point of breakthrough and success, okay. their success is pulled down. Do you know that? Yeah. You are aware of it? Yes. And lastly, I want us to pray for your wife. Okay. Because also your wife is not well. Okay. Do you know that? Yes. So I want us to only pray for three things. We are praying for God to heal you and to heal your wife. And for, for your kids to have breakthrough okay. in what they're doing. 
Hmm? Okay. Because it's it's something that pulls their hard working, but their hard labor is not producing anything. Are you hearing me? Yes. Can I pray with you? Yes, please. Can you put your chest, your hand on your chest? Thank you. Jesus. Bring Papa back. You are free. You will sleep tonight. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. You will sleep tonight. Come, my sister. How are you? I want us to pray so that we break the spirit of poverty yeah. in your family. It's true. Hmm? Yes, it's true. I want us to break the spirit of poverty. Yes. And we break the spirit of disappointment. Yes. Because what I'm seeing, I'm seeing people who come to your family, they misuse you people. Yes. And they reject you afterwards. Yes. Hmm? Yes. My name is Mashudu Chinabe. I'm from Dravana, Sundani village. And then the prophet, the, the woman of God says, we have to break the spirit of poverty in my family. Is I'm waking, but I live as a person who's not waking. I have nothing. I have a lot of debts. It's, it's, uh, I'm not waking. That doesn't only happen in marriage-wise. It also happens in career-wise. Yes. People call you, giving you promises. You work. When it's time for you to reap or to get paid for, to get paid for what you've done, you just let go just like that. Yes. There's no promise that comes to us. Yes. Out! Out, your spirit. Out in Jesus' name. Pick it up. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah? What are you doing here? <laughs> Your spirit, what are you doing here? <laughs> Jesus' name. What are you doing? Your spirit. <laughs> we went to struggle. Huh? We don't want her to have anything. You don't want she to must suffer anything. for the rest of her life. Why you want Until her to suffer? Until she dies. Why you want her to suffer? Ah, she must suffer. Huh? Who are you who's doing this? Huh? Why are you asking? Who are you who's doing this? She's waking, but she, she lives like the person who is not working. She has nothing. To I said, who are you who's doing this? Huh? Who are you? Jesus. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' mighty name. Now take your things and go. Leave this woman in your family. Take out your things quickly. Oh, why are you chasing us? In Jesus' name. <laughs> Take out your things quickly and, give, and leave it with your family now. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. My sister, you are free. Stand up. My sister, you are free. You yeah? Okay. You will meet somebody who will marry you. I'm married. You are, you are, you, 
another thing God is going to give you there's a job that is coming away thank you Jesus yeah thank you Jesus amen your life is a new story from today you are blessed mm, I'm always borrowing money from my friends from my relatives yeah yeah, I'm married, but in my marriage, I'm, uh, I have loneliness. It's as if I'm not married, but I'm, I'm in a marriage. Yeah. Right now, I'm feeling light. Yeah. I can say they have to put their trust in Lord. In God, that's where we can get everything if we trust in Him with all our hearts.